Hello students, what we will study is uh, how we spinning in our, an object. So in the last class uh, we have studied about that uh, how we rotate the object, how we scale the object. On the class we will study how we screw an object. A screen object means slanting the object by a specific angle. So see, the object is slanted with a specific angle with one or both the axis. On the x-axis also and on the y-axis also. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So you can skew the object by dragging or by entering a value in the transform panel. So by dragging also you can do or by entering some value in the transform panel then also you can do it. Now see how we do it. To select the object with the help of the free transform group, also shortcut key capital Q also you can press to the window tab and transform option. Click on the skew radio button and enter the values for skew horizontal and skew vertical angle. So angle you enter. Or second, over the mouse over the center handle. This is the center handle. Over the mouse over the center handle, the pointer changes to the skew handle. Like this in this shape. Arrow you get the horizontal arrows. Both sided, both headed arrow. Drag the center handle to the skew object. Or delete the mouse button. And after that, to enter transformation, click outside the circuit object. Okay. So, by dragging the center object, center handle, you can skew the object and change its angle. Now, we flip an object. As you can see here, this uh, fish is flipped. Left side down, uh, left side is on the right and right on the left. This is called the flipping. So draw a fish using the help of the drawing tools and fill color in it using the paint pocket tool. Once we draw the fish and we will fill the color with the help of the paint pocket tool. Select the fish using the selection tool. Now select the modify or transform option. Now then choose the either flip vertical or flip horizontal. So this is the flip horizontal. And observe the change in object. You can do the flip vertical also. The mouse will be up and I will be down. Okay, next how we copy an object. See. Select the object that you want to copy by using the selection tool. See there, one uh, multiply second, its copy is created in its way. So the edit option, the edit tab, and that will make the option copy. So click on the blank area on the stage, select the, click on the uh, blank area on the stage, and after that, select the paste in center options on the edit menu. So you will get a duplicate copy of the object at the center of the stage. So, how we copy the object? For that, first of all, we have to uh, select the selection tool. And after that, we click on the edit tab. And after that, we go in the copy option. And after that, we click on the blank area on the stage. Now, after that, we uh, select the paste in center option from the edit menu. Okay? Paste in center option. Now, after that, you will get a duplicate copy of the object at the center of the stage. Next is how you move an object. Moving an object. Insert the object that you want to move. Suppose this butterfly you want to move from this position to this position. So select the object butterfly with the help of the selection tool. Place the pointer inside the object. Now a four headed arrow appears next to the arrow. Click and drag the object to a next, next position from here to here. You can drag it and bring it here. Okay. This is the selection tool. Now a four headed arrow stand will appear next to the arrow. Click and drag the object to a new position. Click the mouse and you will see the object that has moved to a new location. So we will find that object from here. This object that from the uh, right bottom corner to uh, come on the left and top corner. Now, how we import any graphics? So, to import any graphics, select the file tab, click on the file tab, there you find the import option. Now, in the import menu, click you find the import to stage. So, if you want to import any uh, graphics on the stage, so select the file tab, after that, you get the import option. In the import, you get the import to stage option. The import dialog box will appear. Browse and select the file. This import dialog box will appear. Browse and select the file that you want to search the file where you want to, which file you want to. Import on the stage. Now after that, you click on the open. Suppose the butterfly is selected, so click on open. That rest of the butterfly will open on the stage. 
the picture will be on the stage. As you can see here, selecting the import to stage option. So that is the file, and here you find the import, and here the next option you get the import to stage. To import a file into the library, select file, go in the import, and after that import to library. So that will be imported to the library. Now drag the library item on the stage to use it in your animate project. As you see, uh, import an if image or file. Now, it is not always required to draw an object on the stage and then create an animation in the image. You can also create animation on the external images and bitmaps also. Means uh, on the external image you can import on the stage and after that also you can create the animation on that also. Uh, now, shortcut key to import a picture to animate is control plus R. That import dialog also will open. Okay. So this is all for the today's students. Uh, so in the next class we will study about the animation in animate and uh, frame by frame animation, grid animation and tint training that is used to change the color of the object. Uh, that is the tint training. Okay. So after that also stops. Yes, there are there also some. This is a big lesson. Okay. So this is all for today's students. In the next class, we will discuss the remaining topics. Thank you for your kind attention.